Hello, this is Tola from Tri for Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can add sea creatures uh, to your Blender scenes using this add-on called the Creature Coral add-on. Now it's uh, not a free add-on, it's paid for, but it works pretty good. Now I'm using Blender 2.92 and I'll leave a link uh, below this video. So you guys can download it yourselves and try it out. So it's not too bad. It's got some glitches in it. I don't know if it's because it's built for 3.0 and above, but when I installed it in 2.92, it had no warning that came up. So I'm assuming it works in 2.92. But once you've downloaded onto your system, the same process, go to edit, preferences, install. Uh, navigate to where you've installed it on your system. I've already done that. So I'm going to press cancel. And then once you've uh, found it, you just put a check in the box. Here it is, add mesh, the coral and creatures collection. Put a check in that box and it's ready to go. And we're gonna delete this cube and it's right here. And it's got uh, a couple of categories that you can choose from, from coral, the coral sets, creatures, miscellaneous and stylized coral. Now this works in EV and in cycles. But obviously Eevee is faster, but Cycles looks a lot better. Uh, but uh, you can just click on whatever you want to add to your scene, any kind of uh, coral you want from this uh, selection here. Uh, let's click on that one and click on Add. And there it is. Some of these are animated. I don't know if this one is. This one's not animated. But once you've added it to your scene, you can see that it comes out as a really nice looking model. Let's go into Edit Mode by pressing Tab and look at the... Um, mesh setup. It's not as clean uh, of a topology as it's supposed to be. There's a lot of triangles in it. But since this isn't moving, you know, there's no movement in it. It's not rigged to move. It's fine. And it comes already textured also. Let's go to change our viewport. It changed the uh, environment to a brighter one so you can see a lot better. And I'm an Eevee. It shouldn't take too long to process. Uh, come on, fella. Okay, there it is. This is at 40, or this is uh, the EV version of it. And once again, like I said before, in cycles, it looks a lot better. But you can see that at the base of our coral, it's a rock. And this is where the coral is coming from. So that looks pretty good. Uh, let's delete this and try some more. Now, some of these do move let me see let me pick one that moves see an enemy that does move so let's press add to that and let's press play and it's animated already so that's good that's a plus for that so the ones that are supposed to move they do move so you don't have to worry about trying to animate them yourself they come pre-animated so that's a good thing so they come pre-animated and pre-textured uh, let's uh, go to the creatures. I'm going to show you some glitches that I found in the add-on. It's a great add-on. Most of the creatures do work and they do look good, but if you download it, uh, just be aware of some issues that could arise from, you know, uh, some of the models. Let's go to creatures and let's click on, let me see, manta ray and click add. Now you can see that the model comes rigged already. All of them come rigged. All the models of the creatures come rigged already. So you don't have to rig them yourself. But for this particular one, the rig doesn't follow, or the model doesn't follow the rig. Let me press play and see what I'm talking about. You can see that it's, it's, the rig is moving, but the model isn't. Now I've tried myself to uh, attach the model to the rig by pressing left clicking on the model, hold down shift, left click on the rig to select both at the same time control p and with automatic weights and then this happens so i'm gonna have to contact a developer and let them know about this but uh that's not good but let's delete this Mo majority of the models work like for example let me take out this beluga whale click add and press play see this follows the model follows the rig easily so that's a plus that's a good thing delete that 
And if you download, the ones I've seen that don't really follow the rigs are the Manta Ray and the Pacific White. Which would be, let me see where the, is the Pacific White. Where are you, buddy? Great White Manta Ray. Oh, there it is. Click Add. For some reason, there are two models of the Dolphin of the Pacific White. This one's rigged. Apparently, this one isn't. But when you press play, nothing moves. So that could be an issue. I mean, if you know how to actually simulate this yourself, it's not a problem. But usually, you want them from an add from an add-on. You want them already set to move. If that's how most of them are supposed to be. Let's delete this. And then uh, let's go to the other some other aspects of the selections here. You've got coral sets. Now this contains different rock formations underwater with different kinds of coral on it and they all come out looking great. Only problem is that they're pretty dense. So it could take your computer some time to process them. So just be aware of that. And then um, let me see, let's go to miscellaneous. Now the other thing I've seen is that with the fish swarm, it's supposed to Simulate a school of fish swimming in the water, but when you click on add, it gives you these panels here, and then this uh, little circular system here that's supposed to simulate the fish going around in a circle. When you press play, you don't see any fish. So I'll probably have to contact the, the developer about that also. Let's delete that. And this fish school system also has that same issue. Click on add. Press play, still no fish. So I don't know um, why it's that way, but I think I have to let, let the developer know. For the most part, majority of this content works great. So just be happy with that. And if you choose the underwater uh, environment, this turns out looking great also, but like I said before, it's dense and it'll take a really long time for your computer to your computer to process uh, or animate this because this is animated. But yeah, for the most part, the creature and coral collection, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's got a few elements here and there that don't work properly. But overall, it's a pretty good add-on. So if you want to simulate fish or sea creatures or have a scene that simulates that or has creatures, sea creatures in it, this is the add-on you can actually use. So hopefully, uh, hope, I hope this was a helpful uh, tutorial for you guys and uh, once again thank you guys who have subscribed in the past those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future really appreciate it and i'll see you guys on the next one all right adios